Hey guys, a question I get quite frequently is about ground radials. How many should I put down? How long should they be? I want to give you that answer. From my experience, there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of research, a lot of text out there, but uh, I think I've kind of found a good place to start, especially if you're just starting to build antennas. I want to kind of give you my experience and get you started with ground radials. Stick around. Overthinking it in ham radio. I know I'm extremely guilty of this. Um, when I cut, when you come to ground radials, I've done some research through the uh, antenna engineering handbook, um, some old school text here, the uh, the uh, radio amateur handbook from uh, William Orr. That's a great reference, out of print. Um, everybody's got the uh, A R R L antenna book. I've got an older copy because uh, antenna technology really hasn't changed. I've even for ground radials, I've looked into the uh, to a really deep AM radio tower. Uh, this thing has got some. Uh, Pretty intense uh, stuff in it. I've done a lot of research on ground radials, and then I just went out and did it. And I think uh, from what I've experienced, um, I, I've come to a common ground of, of what I think you should do, or a, a good starting point as a beginner, you're just starting to build antennas. And that is that ground radials, let's start off with what they're doing. A lot of people don't understand that. Um, they, I've even heard, hey, I'm going to drive uh, some uh, some. I'm getting eight foot long copper probes and putting them in the ground. That's not what an RF ground is. I've actually done a video on the difference between electrical ground and RF ground. I'll put a link to that below. Um, but RF ground is basically a mirror. Look, think of this. Think of when a dipole is two quarter waves. A half wave long is two quarter wave halves of an antenna. You have one half that's a quarter wave and another, and that's a dipole antenna. Take away one of those half and put a vertical up that's a quarter wavelength. The ground underneath it, that ground is the other half of the antenna. Those radials are, are basically making a mirror. So you're mirroring uh, that and um, creating the other half of the antenna. So that is kind of like a vertical dipole somewhat. Um, it's really not correct, but that's that's what you're doing. You know, your ground radials are basically the other half of the antenna. And, uh, and the better the mirror, the better the antenna per se. But there is a, a point of... Uh, or really diminishing returns, I guess you could say, or whatever. Um, I know Callum McCormick, he's done quite a few videos on this if you really want to go a little deeper, but I think he kind of agrees with me from his experience as well, that just get something down and get it on the ground. I know Callum, uh, he referenced, and I've gone and, and looked at uh, Rudy Severance. He's done some really intense research on this, and I'll put a link to Rudy's website below as well. But um, there seems to be a point at about 16 radials, where you've reached a, a point of diminishing return, really. And um, and another thing, as far as length, I've found that more radials that are shorter are, are probably a little better than fewer radials that are longer. And length really doesn't matter. I know when I was over in um, in Europe working for the past couple of years, and I was away from water, I, I generally operate by the sea, but um, I put down quite a few ground planes. And uh, what I would do was, Three, four, five radials about uh, 17 feet or a little over five meters long really worked well for me. I got out. I really did with this setup, and um, and, and it performed well. Heck, I even at one point, I put down uh, five uh, tape measures on the ground. They were just uh, metal tape measures and used them as a ground plane. They, what, they were all around five meters long each one of them was about 25 meter, 25 feet long or whatever but uh it was uh it was a pretty good ground radial setup and uh this antenna i, I worked long path to australia with that system as a uh as a as, as ground radials below me so it was uh it works it, it worked pretty well so i i guess the advice i'm telling you is if if, if i was building an antenna for the first time and you know especially a portable antenna four four five somewhere around five meters long or maybe a little longer. If you if you don't have the space for that, cut them in half, maybe make eight of them, two and a half meters long each, whatever. Just get something on the ground and, and experiment with it. You know, you, you, you look at, and I showed earlier, the AM radio uh, towers, they, they, their verticals they use, they put down a pretty extensive amount of radials. But remember, these guys are putting five to 
50,000 watts out there in the air. And, it, you know, they're, they're multi-million dollar broadcast uh, antennas uh, that are serving the public. We're radio amateurs. We're just having some fun and experimenting here. Now, if you've got a permanent setup in your backyard, yes, the more the merrier, the better it is. If I had a, a yard when I was, let's say, I put a DX Commander up, I would try to get a, a, a 30, 40, as many as I could get down on the ground. But if you can't, it's not that big a deal. It really isn't. You will notice, and I notice, even I've, I've used coax as the counter. I, I've put one down or what have you. Um, you'll get out and you'll work and you'll do better with more radials. But I don't think the, uh, the, the juice is really worth the squeeze as far as worrying about it and trying, you know, to make this perfect. Just get something down. Now, I live by the ocean, so for me, there's a reason for that. If the FCC here in the States, the Federal Communications Commission, over the years have put out a, uh, for, for AM broadcasters, a map of uh, ground conductivity. And what they show is the ground, the earth itself, uh, it's, it registers anywhere from 0.5 to 30 millisiemens per meter. So that makes a big difference. And that shows you that, um, every, every location and every setup is a little different for an antenna and for ground radials. Because, you know, out in the desert, you may need 16 of those radials. But if you're in a marshy land where the uh, conductivity is much better, it's going to work a lot better. And I learned this, too, from I know when I first started making antennas on the beach, I'd put out and lay out five, six, seven radials. And then I realized, you know, the, the, the conductivity there at salt water on the, on the edge of the beach is 5,000 uh, millisiemens per minute. I mean, it's just amazing. I could just put one one simple counterpoise on the ground. I, I even now just stick one on a, if people laugh, I put it on a pool noodle and drop it over beside me into the salt water. And that one wire just conducts me to an amazing uh, ground plane. So that's kind of why I do that. And that's, that's I'm getting a little off topic there. What I want you to do is if you're just getting started, don't overthink it. You don't. It just Get some down. Get what you can down. If you're over in the corner of a, a, a small place, get them down to one side. Yeah, you may have a little loss on one side, but you're going to get some gain on the other, and you might not even notice. The bottom line is, is just get down what you can and get started. And, um, and, and, and you will notice that this is, this is a topic that, like I said, it's extremely, extremely over, overthought. And I'm trying to keep you from overthinking it. Just Put down four or five, 17 feet long, a little over five meters. Get your antenna up in the air. Start making contacts. Then maybe experiment with it. Put a few more down. Take a couple off. See what your differences are. I would go find, a, you, you know, one good way to experiment with this is go find a web SDR. Listen to yourself and then add more, you know, listen to yourself again. I don't think you're really going to notice much of a difference. If you got a halfway decent set of radials on the ground, and like I said, four or five to get started is really all you need. Lent is not that important. Hope this uh, gets you to quit overthinking it and just gets you to go out there like I like to do and uh, experiment and do it yourself. And uh, don't, uh, don't, don't worry too much about the text. Yeah, I read everything. I'm, I'm a, like everyone else. I, I want to know what's going on. And I, I do some pretty in-depth study on, the, on topics. And this is one of them I've done. And this is one of them I've realized from doing the in-depth study and then going out and experimenting that, um, yeah, it's overthought, way overthought. Just get something down there and get an antenna in the air. Anyway, until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.